So these are uh, were sewn on the uh, third of the first two weeks ago. We have a uh, Bedfordshire champion, Elsa Craig. Uh, neither of them are um, world beating champions. They're just you know good onions. Um, this is uh, these last through the winter. These don't. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, just past the crook stage. They they were up about a week ago. So um, so yeah, this is the beginning. So this all um, I'm not going to prick them out just yet. Probably in the week I shall do that, um, and then uh, into either modules or individual pots. We're we're going for maximum size. Probably um, I'll probably select five or six of the best. Um, and then really model, model coddle those and then it will culminate in August Bank Holiday to see who's got the biggest onion um, in two classes on the plot this is on the plot that is so it's a bit of fun but it's also very serious so um, so yeah so that's the that's the uh, championship up, um, onion update they've got to be kept indoors even well there's two theories I'm going to keep them indoors because it is not even the middle of winter, we're nearly getting to the middle of winter but um, there's plenty of uh, chances for really hard frosts, they do suffer they suffer from a lack of light I think as well um, so uh, I may take half down to the greenhouse in the uh, on the allotment where there is uh, we're, we're overshadowed a little bit here um, though it's probably warmer um, but it's the light that um, they, they need um, so we'll see maybe a few keep a few indoors um, and see which respond better uh, then I'll let then I'll let you know um, What's quite popular on the internet is um, growing um, really fast um, first earlies, um, starting them off indoors in January and seeing how whether or not you can get an early an early crop or not. Uh, so um, I'm going to start them off in these. Um, I will be transplanting them later. A little bit in and then put one in Tran transplanting them later into something um, bigger bloody ginormous so I put the um, the eye um, face up so I'll give that a bit of a bit of a watering and then take it indoors um, on a tray and um, and then we'll um, and then I'll pop them up into something bigger um, later on this is just get them started um, and then we'll go into it more as we as we move along but I hope in sort of um, late March to uh, get a crop out of them and uh, it's something to do with um, sort of winter to spring uh, so we'll um, we'll see how that goes So, um, so one one last thing is the um, that's keeping me busy. Well, first of all, there's going to be sowing um, really quite soon, um, more onions, leeks, and so on. And but there's also the ones that need a bit of heat and a long um, season. So we've got these are chilies. Uh, they're sown from seed from a chili I got from the supermarket. I've no idea what it's called. It was really tasty. Now, of course, it could be a hybrid. Um, could be a hybrid. Uh, who knows what characteristics it will, it will have? Um, but uh, let's give it a whirl. I've got about nine of these uh, now. These are so really big. These haven't been done under heat or light, artificial light. Though they have been indoors, which is warm, and, and we do have the lights on when we're in the living room. But this is um, this was sown in I think September. So. Um, 
so um, so the nice big plants, uh, you know, so the problem of having a bit of heat to get plants um, sown in, in December has been shortcut. So um, it's quite hard to get things to germinate this time of year. But if you start, oh, some green fly on there. But if you start um, in the autumn when it is easy to get seeds going, then you will get um, um, good plants like this that should survive. These are perennials, so they're going to do well. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Ta-da.